time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. In four-hour recording studio. Recording. Wake your ass up, it's the next friend dog in the morning. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. It is Black Friday. Tis Black Friday, the blackest of days, the heart of darkness. Mm-hmm. And much like The Heart of Darkness, a book I'm sure Crendor has never read. <laughs> we we are going well, that's a down. Book? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, that, that is a book. It is a very important book. It's a book that inspired many movies and video games and TV shows and other media. Why haven't I heard of it then? I mean, I assume that's because the only place you go to is IKEA and not a bookstore. <laughs> I go to bookstores, I just don't buy the books. <laughs> they have good coffee there. They do. <laughs> and I just like to look at the books and put them back. Well, this is Cox and Crenor in the morning, and today's Black Friday. It's the very special day of the year when everyone goes out and about. Yep. And this episode's for you, stuck in the car today, doing whatever it is you do. Yep. Hopefully uh, not suffering. Yep. Maybe some of you are back. I don't know when this video, er, video, geez. Maybe maybe you're watching it. If that's the case, you shouldn't be watching it and driving. But, uh, I mean, they can't this, really watch it. Look, I mean, maybe listen to it. You know no. what? You know what? <laughs> Johnny Ikea, shut up. You know, you don't get to judge me. You don't get to judge me and my mistakes. Oh. This audio that you're listening to as you're driving around. Yeah. We. This is for you. This is for this you today. This is for you today. Hopefully you're recovering from your uh, Uncle Bob's rants on, you know, the Illuminati and your... Grand, yes, Uncle Bob. Grandpa complaining, complaining about Obama. I told you he was a secret Muslim. <laughs> yes, Uncle Bob. He's uh, a he's a secret Mayan Muslim <laughs> robot. <laughs> yes, Uncle Bob. Now where are my glasses? <laughs> I left them in the turkey. I did. <laughs> yes, uh, Uncle Bob. <laughs> so luckily. Uh, you got to leave Uncle Bob early to go find some deals, or you oh had to go goodness. work at the places with the deals, and that would be bad. I was already starting to see texts from people and uh, tweets and things that were like, oh, dude, you should see the lines. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't want to see the lines. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I'm, yep. I'm very much aware of it. Here's the thing. I kind of want to see the madness because I like that. I like <laughs> crazy people. I enjoy yeah. Crazies, but at the same time, I don't want to be involved in it. Like, I have trouble going to a grocery store on Sunday because it's packed and filled with idiots. Well, let's yeah. be clear grocery stores on Sundays are usually parents with overactive children and the elderly all crammed into one space, and it's just like, oh my god, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I know. Do, I go to the grocery store this. like when it's about to close, there's like nobody yeah, there. I don't. Monday at about 9.30 p.m. is prime grocery store time for me. <laughs> yep. There's that just is like one, the... one guy who's like, I need alcohol. And there's another person who's just like, got my late night shopping done. And then there's some people that work the night shift and like one mother and you. It's great. It's great. You can get everything you need done. You can stand there and look, look at prices. Yep. You don't feel like, here's the, here's the problem. This is how you know you're a better person than other people. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, this is, this is how you know. When I go to the grocery store, if I see, say, two products side by side that are very similar, and I want to choose one of them, I will sit there and I will decide between the two, like, you know, normal person would. Like, hmm, these yeah. are interesting. But if there are people there, if it's packed, I will just make a quick choice because I don't want to be in anyone's way. Right? Yeah. I will look at it, really quickly judge, and just grab whatever I think is the best choice and move on. Because I am considerate of other people. On Sundays at the grocery store, those assholes are like, hold on, let me spend 25 minutes holding up the aisle as my, my body takes up one half of the aisle and the cart takes up the aisle, or, or the other half, and you want to get through? Uh, Tough uh, shit. What, you want to get, th hold, Jimbo, do you want green beans or do you want <laughs> salted green beans? Mom, I think you. they're both salted. No, J God, don't give me that sass. That's what it's like. And that I just is. block the aisle. 
That's entirely accurate. That's the problem. And they yep. just block the L. And then sometimes it's triple block. Like, because there's one hold up. And then, then here's what you have to do. So there's like four people holding up the line in this one aisle. And because you're waiting and you're a patient person, you sit there and pretend to look at things that are on the shelves. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yes, yes, those are things. Yep, I'm being patient. I definitely asked you if you can move, but you said one minute, so now I'm just being very patient as you take now two minutes to decide on cornflakes. There's only <laughs> cornflakes. The, the fake brand and the real brand are still cornflakes. You can't mess up cornflakes. Pick whatever is the cheapest and move on, lady. If you like the expensive cornflakes, get the expensive. Don't waste my time. You're well, killing me. It's difficult because the expensive cornflakes are expensive, and the non-expensive ones give my stomach uh, not the good feelings. <laughs> Who is this person that's in line? <laughs> I don't know. Like an old Romanian woman. <laughs> it gives my I'm... stomach the feelings. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach gets the feelings. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that's, I mean, I don't know what that has to do with Black Friday, but I, I don't assume... think it has anything. To do with Black <laughs> I assume it has to do with the fact that we're nice people, so we don't go out on Black Friday. Yeah. But I want to go out on Black Friday because I enjoy the insanity of it all. I think it is just about the craziest thing ever. A lot of stuff. That's just nuts happens, and I mean, if you go to the internet, you can see just tons of video footage of people getting stampeded and yep. knocked over, and it's all over stuff that just, it doesn't make any sense. Not Today, before it. we started this podcast, I looked up things that were like the deals of, of Black Friday, and they're all things that if you went online, you could literally get the exact same thing online. Yeah. Like, so why are you pushing people over? I don't understand. I don't understand it. I assume it's because maybe some people don't have credit cards, or you know, I, I guess there's like, yeah. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like but, buying online. It's dangerous. Uh, but it's dangerous to go out on Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, they're like, you can get 30, 40, 65 percent off a purse. Like, <laughs> but do you need that purse? God, do you I need know. that? I, I'll, I'll say it once. And I'll say it again. I am completely off of gift giving. Yep. I feel like I should just let people know in my life, you're not getting a gift. <laughs> you, you're going to get my thanks, my love, but I, and I don't want a gift from you either. I don't want anything. I don't, it, it takes away the spirit of the holiday. Thanksgiving yeah. is about being thankful for people, right? And then yeah. immediately the day after, it's about, you know, for 20-some, 30-some days, it's about Christmas. It's about the the... the this happy, joyous time, it doesn't matter what you believe, it's the holiday season, and it's about being kind and generous and wonderful to people. And I think the idea of gift giving started out well, and yep. it was very nice, and everyone was like, I'm going to give you a gift, and like, oh, I'll give you a gift, and oh, we're so in love. It's like that stupid-ass story, like, I cut all my hair so I could give you a comb. Like, oh, I cut all my hair so I could give you a comb. <laughs> like that, right? It's yep. that kind of nonsense. That's what it should be, but instead it's like, well, I have to buy them something because they're going to buy me something this year. And if they, oh man, what if they give me something expensive? I've got to get them something expensive too. And now everyone's in freaking debt. <laughs> now they're all in debt. That's how it works. You just don't. I think I, I, Crendor, mm -hmm. I think I told you this last time we were here. I might be becoming a Buddhist. I don't. I, I don't. I think it's just happening to me. I think I'm being taken over by the Buddha spirit. Is that a thing that can happen? The Buddha because I'm like, you know, I like possessions man i'm just getting rid of everything i'm just everything about me must go i'm just giving stuff away i'm like i don't i don't need it man you're changing you're changing as a person for the better of the buddhist life oh man you're connecting with buddha maybe it's because i'm trying to reach that audience i hear <laughs> there are a lot of buddhists in the world if i can get all of them to watch my videos we'll be good we'll be real good <laughs> yeah watch me buddhists <laughs> uh so I Black mean, Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. I don't even know how we got there. I don't know how we're going anywhere. I don't either. Like, you, I still remember that other year. Was it? it was like last year. Some lady was at Target, and she's all, do you have the movie White Chicks? And I was like, why would you, why would you buy that movie? My grandson <laughs> loves White Chicks. He tells me all the time. <laughs> But I was uh, like, ma'am, I don't think that's he <laughs> says he likes to watch white chicks <laughs> all day. Grandma, uh, I didn't I didn't mean the movie. 
He says, <laughs> sometimes he likes to watch white chicks in his boxers. <laughs> uh, uh, ma'am, I don't. Every day from his window. It's weird. Why would you put the TV in the window? <laughs> My grandson, he's a strange one. So where do I buy that movie? The kids these days, back in my day, I wish we had window TVs. We didn't even have food. Oh, boys will be boys, though. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that happened. No, but speaking of movies and stuff, this is the craziest thing. Mm-hmm. On... This list that's on the internet, it tells you things not to buy on Black Friday, right? Yeah. And the number one thing is movies. Yeah. It says don't buy movies. Here's the crazy part. Let me read you this list, and you'll be like, well, you know exactly what you'll be like. All, All right. right. <clears throat> things not to buy on Black Friday. One, movies. Don't buy movies. They're always overpriced or useless commodity things. Like, that's pretty much what it's yeah. saying, right? Two, toys. People think it might be the best time to buy toys, but it's not. They're hard to find and everyone fights over them. Three, video game consoles without a bundled item. Why buy just the console if you're not going to get the game? Games are scarce. Don't do it. The discounts aren't there. Like It gives you a list of reasons, right? Yeah. Next, brand name TVs. All right. All right. DSLR cameras. Why not a camera? I don't... I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I thought I gave reasons. Just... just, just oh, well... The cameras, it says, there's no shortage of cameras around right now, but premium current generation cameras are about to be replaced. So why buy them on the cheap when you can just get the new ones in February? Oh. But again, again, let me just, just, <laughs> just, just, just let's keep going. All right. Next on the list, winter apparel. Yep. What if you want some winter Next apparel? On the, hold on. Next <laughs> on the list, Christmas decorations. Next on the list, exercise equipment. Next on the list, jewelry or watches. Mm. Next on the list, any Apple iPad products. Whoa. Next on the list, any Kindle products. Mm. Next on the list, any Amazon Fire products. Uh Next on the list, bedding or blankets. Next, wine or specialty foods. And after that, international airfare. It's pretty much everything. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm glad you noticed that. I, what are you supposed to buy on Black Friday then? Basically, <laughs> yeah. the article should have been called, just don't buy anything on Black Friday. It's cheaper the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, like, what? Like, don't buy a camera cheap because the new one's going to come out. Yeah, but the new one's going to cost a bunch of money. Yeah, the new one's going to cost a fortune. Why not get the, Like, <laughs> this article's so stupid. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It, yeah. it, it's like, I, movies it, are dumb because you're not going to watch a whole movie all the time. It's like, yeah, but it's like any time you buy a movie. And now you can yeah, get it cheap. I don't look. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Look at this. On, on Amazon, you can buy Rio, X-Men First Class, $1.96 each. They're X-Men 93% First Class, percent off. 96 Yep. That's a pretty good deal. I if know. only I watched movies. <laughs> I know. I almost bought it. I was like, $1.96 for that movie. And I was like, you know what? I, I don't really need it. I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. <laughs> I currently own four movies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption, The Rock, <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, uh, Die Hard. Yep. Those are the ones I own that I bought. Because wa- those are the ones I'll watch all the time. And then uh, uh, the movie The FP was sent to me. The FP? Yes. It's about yeah. a post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic dance competition <laughs> to GDR. <laughs> it's pretty great. And you have Lord of the Rings, too. Um, I thought you did. I have no. Actually, I changed that. I have, I have. Lord, I also was sent a um, the complete Blu-ray of, uh, uh, oh goodness, Lost and yeah, yeah. and the old school DVDs of Lord of the Rings and then yeah. old school Star Wars DVDs. But those were all yeah. sent to me. So the yeah. only ones I've ever purchased, yeah, were those three that I initially <laughs> spoke of. Like I just don't buy movies unless I know that I'll watch. Like, I re- if the power if the not the power go but if the internet goes out, I can survive on watching The Rock, Shawshank Redemption, <laughs> and Die Hard over and over and over and over again. That's all <laughs> yeah. I need in my life. X Men First Class is good, but it's no Die Hard. Let's yeah. be clear, it's no Die Hard. <laughs> that's so, no Die Hard. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And. Uh, Speaking of of it's no diehard, this is gonna be the worst segue ever. 
Uh, Walmart <laughs> uh-huh. is making their employees work on Thanksgiving now? What? What? Apparently, more and more restaurants are opening on Thanksgiving. More and more stores are, are open on Thanksgiving. And basically, Thanksgiving is just a consumer holiday now because Black Friday, because everyone sort of knows Black Friday was that day that everything they, 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 they put everything on sale and they make a ton of money and it lasts for the rest of the year. It's the start of the Christmas season, basically, yeah. uh, the holiday season. And uh, people have just decided because – they kept opening the stores earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier, right? It was 4 a.m. We thought that was ridiculous. Then it became opens at midnight. Yeah. People thought that was ridiculous. Now they're just, we open Thursday. <laughs> yeah. We open at 6 p.m. Yeah. It's it's nuts. And so Walmart, some Walmarts were open all day. <sighs> and my question then re- becomes, why discount? Why not just make it another day? Why have Black Friday? What's the point? Yeah. Really, it's... if you're just gonna if it, Black Friday was an event, right? It I was know. you woke up a... early and you went crazy and you had fun. This is this is silly. This is silly. Yeah, and it gets rid of the mobs and stuff. Yep. How are we supposed know. to watch the crazy happen? Crazy. That's the problem. The crazy might have already happened. Yeah. Well, it's heartbreaking. I found an article thing that says the Black Friday guide for road warriors. Uh huh. Which is says, this can help us get through the day? It says yeah. It says before you leave home. Take another look at inserts. You probably have spent some time scanning the pre-released ad scans online. Check the Thanksgiving Day inserts in the AJC for updates. I'm sorry, and what? The AJC. <laughs> what are you what reading? What did you find this? the shopping blog. Where did you find this? Good find, buddy. It's, it's Good says, find. You went on the internet and found the most... <laughs> Insane thing. <laughs> it says, uh, oh, the website's called AJC. That makes more sense. Uh, it says, take notes so that you can uh, take notes and make a note of items on your shopping list that also require coupons, rebates, or include a gift card with purchase. Uh, make a map so you know where you're going to be going. Uh, you decide on your payment methods. Arrive early. Know the store layout. Stay focused. Note and the store layout and stay focused. <laughs> it sounds like you're getting ready to play a sports game. <laughs> all this can be avoided if you just use the internet. Yep. Really, that's all you should be doing is just using the internet. And put safety first. If you see a fight in Walmart, walk the other way. Why is that a thing? Why is that like if you see a fault? Fa- a fault? If you see a fault with Walmart, well, walk the other way. <laughs> <laughs> like if you see a fight in Walmart, what? Like what? Are like, you, what else are you gonna do? Like oh, I'm gonna go closer. <laughs> Let me investigate this fight. <laughs> like you might be like, oh, but I really want the thing they're fighting over. Like no, no, don't be an idiot. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. My There's only problem nothing. with all that is, is why specifically Walmart? <laughs> if you see a fight in Walmart. <laughs> is Walmart the place Walmart. fights happen? But like. There's nothing. Is there, ever a, is there ever a fight in, like, American Eagle? <laughs> Out of the way, man. I'm trying to get hey, my man. clothes. Go I gotta get God. my... I'm trying to get my latte from where I left it. You know, it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, on your mind, American <laughs> Eagle sells latte. <laughs> <laughs> they do if you know where to check. Oh, shit. Is that... Is that- is that the like the section of the store that's like reserved for the just the super sexy people? <laughs> yeah, it's got like a bouncer. It's like hey, you're not allowed in. Oh yeah, you're, you're not nearly in. as sexy. This coffee is for <laughs> sexy people only. I mean, granted, this coffee, this coffee was shit out of monkey's ass. It's for sexy people. Half only. my shirts are American Eagle. I don't doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> and I like their things. They're soft. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing that somebody'd be fighting over that I would care enough to go and like try and get it from them. I don't know that I care enough about anything that yeah. like I guess it, it's if you have a, if you have people you need to buy stuff for, but because I've given up buying things, I just don't care anymore. I looked at all the deals and I was like, "Meh." Yeah. I just don't care. I just don't care. I'm I I I think I've evolved as a human being. I'm like Data on Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Like, maybe if they had computer parts, like, 80% off, I'd be like, all right, I really need this, like, new graphics card for super cheap. But maybe even I'm then, like, I'd be like, do I need it? 
<laughs> See, that's where I'm at, Crendor. I think well, I've got problems. Good problems, though, but I think I'm just done. Yeah, you got some good problems. I'm like, do 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 you need it? <laughs> I just ask myself, do I need right? it? Right? Like, every time I'll see a t-shirt, and I'll be like, that's an awesome shirt. And then I'll be like, but do I need it? <laughs> uh, I think I'm ruining the spirit of, of Black Friday. You are. I'm like the I mean, Ebenezer Scrooge. I need, I need <laughs> ghosts to visit me and tell me that Black Friday will be okay. I mean, two years ago... Is when we started this podcast. I want to know: Are you the same as you were back then? Like when I you still, talk, I still enjoy watching crazy people. Yeah, but didn't you go somewhere back then? Didn't you go out and camp somewhere? No. Oh God, no. No, I could have sworn uh, you did. With it Davis was for Black them. Friday. No, that was for the um, uh, PlayStation. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, and it was to- It was totally worth it. I definitely, you know, <laughs> really. Have used that since I got it. <laughs> yeah. I think I've turned my PlayStation 4 on maybe six times ever. I think I've used mine more as a Blu-ray player than an actual game thing. Yeah, I don't. It was a total waste of money. <laughs> and yep. I have never, I have never, I think that might be the start of when I was like, well, I just spent money on junk I'll never <laughs> use. Yep. Like, I bought the Wii U and I was like, well, this is dumb. And now I've played my Wii U more than, like, the other two systems. <laughs> Yeah, and the Wii U is how many years old comparatively? It's like an extra yeah. year old. Like it's not even so, that much. There you go. There you go. Since. I don't know. Black Friday. Now I'm a bummer. Now I'm a, now <laughs> I've ruined your Black Friday merriment. Yeah. I mean, we'll bring it back because I found some stories. But oh, good. Oh, good. All yeah. right. Well, then I think it's time to go to Chop the Copper Scoppers and Stuff. With Crandor, how's that traffic out there? <laughs> We're flying over Black Friday. Uh, down there, man, it is backed up the uh, backed up the wazoo. We got people at Target. We got people at Walmart. There's fist fights breaking out. There's fight fists breaking out. There's a walrus that just broke out of the zoo to get some of these crazy deals. But there is a Buddhist down there, and that Buddhist monk is trying to encourage people to think with their mind, not with their uh, emotions, or whatever, and it appears that Justin Everton does not care, he is rushing in to get a big screen TV, and he is, he got it, he's got that TV, and this guy ripped out of his hands by another guy, back to you. Thanks, Crendor, oh, that sounds awful, that TV deserved, it was his, yeah, it was, was his, his. TV. he lost it. It's just like football. You yep. gotta, you gotta pull it in. Can't you fumble. Pull it in. Can't fumble can't that TV. It. Yeah, TV fumble. Bad yep. play. Bad play. Bad play. Speaking of football, we'll get to that in a minute because now <laughs> it's time for weather. Crenna, well, how's the right. weather out there? As good over at the weather desk. I've been doing pretty good over here at the weather desk myself. I never leave the weather desk. It's it kind of weird. That is a little weird. <laughs> Especially on days where we don't do anything. It's just very dark and nobody turns turns the lights on. Mm-hmm. Uh, what am I talking uh-huh. Oh, yeah. What's the, uh, the weather? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I don't even know where to go today. Let's go to Bass, Arizona. Base? Did you try to type, did you try to type in Black Friday, but you typed in B-A-L-Z? <laughs> I don't even know. T- I didn't even think of typing in Black Friday. No, there's nothing. What about black? Black. What about black F? There's black, black flag, black flat, fort black, black forest. Black forest. Oh, that's good. Black forest, Colorado. It's going to be someone in base Arizona. It's like, oh, man, they were going to do my weather. (laughs) Tough shit, Arizona. (laughs) Too bad. (laughs) Uh, Black forest, Colorado. It's 41 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and it feels like 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we got 59 degrees uh, on this Black Friday for your weather shopping. It's just not too bad. You can wait outside, and that's just going to get colder. 56, 49, 31. Back up to 52, but then 47, 47. Uh, not so much rain, just kind of some moderately mild, you know, medicinal temperatures. That's because it's in Colorado. Is that the joke, or did you just? Make oh up no, a word I just that made, made no up sense? stuff. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, can I just point out the way yes. you said <laughs> "black black forest"? You're like black forest. <laughs> I imagine everyone says that, 
Yeah, it's probably a very nice town. Because it's called Black Forest, everyone's just like, it's pure evil. They're just very nice people there. They're like, oh, welcome to Black Forest. Oh, Black Forest here. We make we make artisan cheeses. <laughs> Artesian. Oh yes, of course. Artesian cheeses. <laughs> Artesian cheese. Artesian. Artesians. <laughs> we call it Artesian. They probably are like having a festive Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas. They're gonna go sing at the the choir. But he, but even they even they say it like black. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Black Forest. <laughs> it's so nice of you to come here. I mean, it's Black Forest. And what's going on in the sports world? Sports. We had some football yesterday. We had the Bears. They played the Detroit Lions in Detroit. Uh, five people showed up. Uh, and the Lions won. They beat the Bears 34-17. to uh, what? Bears fans wasn't, were not wasn't happy. there talk of like a Bears comeback? What happened? Yeah, they won two in a row, and then they, and they, they oh played no! A, did you listen to the meatballs? What did the meatballs say? I did not listen to the meatballs today, but hold on, let me just <laughs> Bears news. I'll tell you, uh, there's no defense for the Bears' inept offense. Just picture this in a in a Bear voice. Detroit, get away from playing last place teams. Get back to reality on this bear season. A modest two-game winning streak against the down-and-out Buccaneers and scuffling Vikings was extinguished in the second quarter Thursday when the Lions bombed the defense for 21 points, erasing the Bears' rarely seen quick start. Well, sort of quick start. When the team goes 96 minutes, 40 seconds of game action between first quarter scores, it's hard to be picky. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. I feel bad. I feel bad for the entire city of Chicago. Yep. It was a very sad day for the Bears. You know, Jake Otler not doing his greatest. Uh, oh, well. But uh, the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. And I don't know how that happened because Philadelphia is not that great. I don't care how it happened. Dallas I'm not a Cowboys fan. Don't, yeah, don't care about the Cowboys. I don't like either of them. And uh, Seattle beat San Francisco. So that I mean, was probably a, a fun game because you know all the Seattle and San Francisco people. They're just you know they're very close to each other, so they yeah. can just go and ooh, my team's gonna beat your team. Every time I'm in Seattle, everyone has the Seahawks. Every time I'm in San Francisco, everyone has a 49ers thing on. Yeah. So you know the two of them are just like ooh, our teams are, are playing each other, and they're probably all together for the holidays. All I'm saying is Seattle and San Francisco fans are unbearable. That's what I'm saying. Well, they're both kind of doing. They're unbearable apples. <laughs> Both kind of new. San Francisco scored three points. They lost nineteen to three at home, which is really bad. Uh, they're also not even in the playoffs if it were to start today. Good. Then I don't have to listen to all my friends be like, "San Francisco is so great." <laughs> you know what? No one cares, but people from San Francisco. No, it is great. Sunday Packers take on New England. Battle of the best teams, right there. It's gonna be a test. That is. Here's the problem. I, uh, it's New England. I hope New England loses horribly. <laughs> I mean, it's in Lambeau Field. Can I just say, as as I don't know how it became this way, but I hate almost every professional football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, I just do not like them. Or the professional sports in general. No, I like pro sports. Oh, I think there's a lot of great pro sports. I think that most of the sports teams though are awful. <laughs> yeah. And it's my job as a fan to call them out on, on sucking. <laughs> I, mean, I like my meatball job. brethren to the north. <laughs> <laughs> meatballs. We'll continue, we'll continue to call out <laughs> professional athletes who get paid to run the foosball up and down the field <laughs> on their awfulness. They do the same with like every sport. It just like shifts. And it's just the same commentary for every sport. Like Derek Rose, he keeps getting injured. Like, Derek Rose. Back when he used to actually play the basketball and his body worked, uh, he was a pretty good basketball player. But now, probably the worst player I've ever seen in my life, which is get rid of him. It was, uh, it was worthless, really. Just have him Just go shovel some Ditka. snow. Uh, make him useful. Put in Ditka. <laughs> put in Ditka. He can score a couple baskets. He wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> can <laughs> you imagine Mike Ditka playing basketball? <laughs> I could. 
Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that Just would be amazing. amazing. I'd watch that. All right. Well, that's I guess it's I guess it's time for our big story of the day. What's our big story? What's our big Black Friday story? All right. It is. Well, there's two of them. One's one's a Florida man story and one is 17 weird things not to buy on Black Friday or ever. What about the Florida man story because it's Florida man. Yes. The popularity. What if, what, why did you even have to question that? You're like, oh, thank God he chose that one. <laughs> I don't know. I like giving you options. Uh huh. Well, I'll just read off some of these other ones just really quickly. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Body vibration machine. A boob harness. A breakfast for two machine. Wide leg velvet pants. A cosmic stick. A fringed what? crop top. <laughs> a $9,000 playhouse. A denim jumpsuit. Metallica Monopoly, Loopy Jumper, an automatic butter cutter, leggings with knee mesh detail, unicorn meat, two-tone shirling jacket, baby jacuzzi, an unwrap me body bow. And those are that. That is that is pretty great. Half those things I think you can get in those crates you can get on the internet. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure <laughs> some of well. those some of those are in crates you get on the internet. So here we, here we go. Florida man gets online to conquer Thanksgiving sales the old way. The popularity of online shopping stores spreading out their seasonal sales and even forecast rain have all failed to dampen the enthusiasm of a Florida shopper who is attempting a two-week camp out in order to land himself a bargain. See, all the things we talked about. This isn't, this isn't phasing uh, Derek De Armand. I that know guy's th- got a great name, Derek Damon. <laughs> oh, it's probably Derek Damon. Oh yeah. On, no- on November 11th, Derek Damon, 55, pitched 55? a 55. Three- <laughs> yep. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> he pitched a three-room tent with air conditioning and TV outside the door of a Best Buy electronics store. I in hope Fort that's Myers. all innuendo. I hope it's all innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> he pitched a tent so big it had air conditioning and a TV. <laughs> <laughs> he plans to be the first through the doors when they open for the traditional Thanksgiving sale on Thanksgiving Day itself. Then he plans to give his main purchase to charity. De Armand what? has been going to work every day at the local newspaper where he is a press operator. While he does so, a team of friends hold his canvas-covered space in line. To pass the time when online, De Armand plays dominoes with friends and serves them from a tiki bar he has set up inside his spacious tent. That is amazing. <laughs> he only goes home to take a shower and use the bathroom. We barbecue every night. We invite people in. We've made new friends, he told the New York Times. De Armand's target is a doorbusters deal, a 42-inch flat-screen television which will be priced at $199 instead of $800. For the first few shoppers through the door when the Best Buy uh, sale begins. Advanced queuing for Black Friday, the day pre-Christmas sales traditionally begin in the U.S., the day after Thanksgiving is not unusual, but it has become less common in recent years thanks to the boom in online shopping and stores spreading their sales. Everything we talked about! Yep. Uh, many shoppers also dislike the modern phenomenon of stores opening on Thanksgiving itself. Daramond has solved that one too. His family intends to join him in the tent for the traditional meal on You're Thanksgiving me? before Best Buy opens at 5 p.m. and he can wade in to buy the television. He intends to donate it to a school. He also has his eye on an iPad that will be selling for $100 off list price. I, uh, okay. Uh-huh. I love this guy. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool that he's giving it away to charity. My question is, why? I what don't. does he get out of all of this? <laughs> yeah, wh- like, he's doing this for so long, and just camping, and then he's donating he, it? To, what does like, he get out of it? That's all I'm what asking. Does he, what does he get out of it? Yeah, what's he get? I don't even... Uh-huh. There's something fishy going on. Something super fishy. Super fish. We need to dig deep. We need to dig deep into this one. What does he get? Like, okay, what charity is he giving it to? He's trying to draw attention to the charity? And if he's trying to draw attention to the charity, what charity is it? More important, like, what if it's like the the childhood KKK center? Mm. You never know. It could be. But what if he's doing it for, uh, like, a, a school he used to go to or something, and he's, like, giving back to the school? What's What's his motive? That's all I'm saying. What's his motive? Yeah, what's his motive? 
Was oh, wait. Because that's a long time. That's a long time. Oh, my God. I found pictures of them. Okay. Yeah, see, there we go. I'm going to link you this article uh-huh. in the New York Times. And there's a slideshow. You can see all his pictures of his tent and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a giant rock star energy drink thing? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he got sponsored by them. All right. All right. Come on. This guy... <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured out why he's doing it. Yeah, I think he appears to be the kind of guy who just he does this stuff because he doesn't want to be old. Yeah, like if you look at him, he's got a rock star energy drink thing. He's got a Hooters T-shirt on. Yep. He's sitting there peeling or bags of oranges, <laughs> talking to dudes. There's a guy. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, he's. It's like he just he just wants the attention too. He's just he doesn't want to get old and he loves the attention and he loves just he's just like just tailgating like a football game, man. Yeah. I I mean, here's the crazy thing. I think I've seen stuff like that this like like I can't even talk right now. Like this at the Best Buy down the street for me. Yeah. Like I saw a tent. <laughs> so so people are I I mean, this is insane. Like people understand this is insane, right? It is insane. Like all he, all he wants to do is he wants to get a, a he says after the one TV, he also intends to buy an iPad Air 2 for 399 bucks. Mind you, the $399 iPad Air is a 16 gigabyte one, so it's the cheapest one. What iPad eventually I mean, why buy an iPad Air if you're going to get no space on it? That makes no sense. <laughs> and then a 50-inch Panasonic TV for $199. Yeah. The iPad's a gift for his sons, and he plans to donate the television to a children's hospital for a fundraising raffle. Oh, God, I like him even more now. Oh, oh wow. but I hate him for doing this. <laughs> I like him, but I hate him. He said uh, his two sons will be sitting down for the traditional turkey dinner inside the tent. One son will be home from military in Af- Afghanistan. The other is a high school student and is embarrassed and doesn't want any part of this, but will be <laughs> here for dinner. Where's... <laughs> Here's the question. Where's mom? I'm about to crack it open, Crendor. Yeah, where's mom? I'm about mom? to crack it open. He and his wife got a divorce. Yep. And he wants to be the cool dad. That's what it is. That's what it is. He wants, he to, be wants the cool to be the one. cool dad. Because the, mom, the mom's the one who's like, honey, you have to do your homework. And this is the guy who's like, come chill with me and I'll make you some brews with my Hooters shirt and my, <laughs> my awesome rock star. And this is, that's, that's it? We that's solved it. it. We solved, we solved it. it. It's pretty easy, to be honest. That was easy. All it did was taking some research and we figured it out. Yep. Crendor, we're very good at this. We are very good. That's why we the cool, make He's the such cool great... dad. He's the cool dad. Yeah. He's like, hey, man, I, I bought you this iPad. Oh, my God. We could have we made a show called The Cool Dad. <laughs> be amazing. It's just this guy who's, like, really sad. <laughs> I just want my son to love me. So I have to wear this to awful cool Hooters t-shirt. <laughs> it could be a sitcom. The cool dad coming to CBS this fall. <laughs> Let's hope it never does. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for Black Friday. Thank you so much for listening. We will be back soon with another episode. And as always, to be continued. <laughs>